we have the spinal cord with a dorsal horn of gray matter, a ventral horn, a central canal, and again, dorsal and ventral horns. And then we have here a spinal nerve. This is the dorsal root of the spinal nerve. It contains a dorsal root ganglion containing sensory cells of the pseudo-unipolar neurons. And let's consider that we are here, we are feeling pain. So that will be the skin here, on the surface of the skin. The nerve, in order to, co to, con to complete the story, the nerve has, there are neurons here, these are motor neurons, and this is the ventral root of the spinal nerve, which will form the nerve. And this will, for example, it will affect the muscle. But we are not concerned with the motor component of the nerve. But just to remind you that the nerve, the spinal nerve, consists of a dorsal root, a ventral root. The dorsal root has a dorsal root ganglion. And these are the central processes of these pseudo-unipolar neurons. They go to the posterior or dorsal horn of the spinal cord. So in the pain pathway, in this sensory pathway, which is the pain pathway, we have three neurons involved. This is the first neuron. We call it first order neuron. The second neuron is located here in the posterior horn of the spinal cord. This is gray matter here. It's a gray matter. So you expect that it's full with nerve cell bodies. The axon of this second order neuron will cross the midline. It will cross the midline and ascend in the white matter because this is an axon. It's no more a cell body. So this is the white matter. This is what we call the lateral funiculus. And this will be the second order neuron. And this axon goes up and reaches the thalamus. Remember the thalamus here? The thalamus is the hub of all sensory impulses in the body. And so in the thalamus, we have the third order neuron. And the third order neuron will project to the cortex, cerebral cortex. Okay? This is what we call the third order neuron. Which part of the cortex, if, I'm, if I draw the cerebrum like this, and this is the central sulcus, so where do you think that this cortex that receives pain sensation from the skin, whether of the skin of the toe or the skin of the finger, where is that cortex located? Post-central gyrus and the parietal lobe. This is the primary somatosensory area you will find that there is functional localization in the cerebral cortex. There's a visual area here, auditory area here, there's the speech area here, and there is the what we call the primary uh, somastatic area and the post-central gyrus. The pre-central gyrus is foremotor. So you can see that here, this type of sensation, which is pain, I can add to it temperature, okay? crude touch and the pressure, all these modalities of pain, they have the same pathway. So a pathway, and we have here, there is a tract. This is what we call the lateral spino, because it's from the spinal cord, thalamic tract. And going to the thalamus, this is the thalamus. So a tract, it's a bunch of axons that have a, a certain function, they have a common origin and a common destination. It is like a nerve, but inside the central nervous system. So there are three neurons in to com continue the pathway. The first order neuron is located in the dorsal root ganglion. The second order neuron is located either in the spinal cord, in this case, where it is involving pain, crude touch, temperature, and pressure, and the third is always present in the thalamus, and the cortex that is involved in this case is the post-central gyrus. In, in which lobe of the brain? In the parietal lobe. Again, we have a spinal cord with 
dorsal horn, ventral horn, central canal, ventral and dorsal. And we have, I'm not going to use colors. So uh, we have, again, we have a dorsal root ganglion, and this is carrying sensation, let's say, from a muscle spindle. And then the central will go into the spinal cord, but it will not terminate in the spinal cord. It will ascend up in the posterior column or posterior funiculus of the spinal cord. In the posterior column or post posterior funiculus, we have what we call a fasciculus gracilis and a fasciculus cuneatus. And then it reaches the medulla oblongata. Here's the medulla. That's the pyramid. And in the posterior part of the medulla, we have nucleus gracilis and nucleus cuneatus. So it will end up here at in the nucleus cuneatus or in the nucleus gracilis if it is from the lower limb. So this is the first order neuron. It's the same, again, in dorsal root ganglion. If you go back here, this is the first order neuron. But the difference is that the second order neuron is located in the medulla oblongata, not in the spinal cord. That's the second order neuron. The second order neuron in this pathway, pain, touch, temperature pathway, is in the dors dorsal horn of the spinal cord. What happened to the second order neuron? What happened to it here? Decussates, cross to the other side. So the crossing here, again, the second order neuron should cross. Although it is present in the medulla, it should cross. As I, we mentioned before, crossing takes place for motor and sensory fibers. And by this way, one side of the brain controls or receives sensation from the other side of the body. But there is no one specific site for crossing. But ultimately, they will cross. So the crossing in this pathway takes place in the, in the medulla oblongata, and the crossing fibers here, they constitute what we call the medial lamniscus. And where is the third order neuron? I'll show it to you here. Where is the third order neuron? In the thalamus. So again, I'm, I'm drawing the thalamus, and the second order neuron ends here, Third order neuron starts in the thalamus and reaches the cortex. Same cortex, the parietal lobe. So you can see here that not all the sensations have the same pathway. These sensations that arise from muscle spindle, for example, the sense of vibration, sense of conscious proprioception. I know where is my hand now, where, where the condition of my elbow joint and the discriminative touch, not the crude touch, all these sensations, they are in, in this pathway, in the other pathway. The first pathway is for pain, temperature, and crude touch, and pressure, okay? The, the, the common things between these pathways is that there are three neurons involved, first, second, third order neuron. There is crossing. The crossing takes place either in the spinal cord or in the medulla. The second order neuron is either located, therefore, in the dorsal horn of the spinal cord or in the medulla oblongata. The, th the third order neuron is always present in the thalamus, and the thalamus projects to the post-central gyrus of the parietal lobe. So the first pathway for pain and temperature it's called the spinothalamic pathway because it is um, the second order neurons are coming from the spinal cord to the thalamus and then from the thalamus, you can see the third order neurons are located here and they project into the primary som somatosensory area. The second one, we call it posterior column medial lamniscus pathway because the fibers, they are not located in the lateral column they are not here, they are located in the posterior column. And these are fibers of first order neurons, and they cross in the medulla to form the medial lamniscus, medulla oblongata, to form the medial lamniscus. So that's why it's called posterior column medial lamniscus pathway. But always the first cell body, first order neuron, is located in the dorsal root 
Yankee.